This is a quick walkthrough of the assessment that we're going to do in 365 Network Traffic Analysis. Okay, when you go to the assessment folder, uh, you'll see uh, Richard's assignment, uh, you'll see the assessment document, you'll see a student template. <coughs> what I would like to, you to do is to fill in the student template, deleting the word student number here and putting your student number in. Okay, so I, I specifically want you to use that file name and that file. You can, of course, add to it. There are three download capture files here for you to use. Each one of those is uh, 50, uh, 50, million, 50 thousand frames and 30 megabytes in size. Okay, so that's where you're going to pick up the work. The screen cam will also be located there as well. If I show you the assessment brief, here's the assessment brief. Okay, so it's talking about a large capture file that you've got to analyze. It tells you that um, you're not going to find anything that I've actually done on, on the internet, so there's very little chance of any plagiarism. You need to be careful with that conclusion though. You don't want to be copying work from other people. Hand in dates, May the 14th. So I'm putting it a long way back into the exam period for you. And it's handed in electronically to Blackboard Digital Drop and you'll use uh, the file name ENO365 Network Analysis dash template dash your student number dot doc. So you just change that your student number. Marking scheme. 10% for the network diagram that you work out, 10% for the protocols that you've seen on the network, 10% for the hosts that you see on the network. There should be a lot of unique hosts on the network. 20% for the services that you see on the network. Is there any attack? Is there any <coughs> Uh, web servers, FTP servers, TFTP servers, anything like that. What can you find on the network? Client software on the network. What kind of client software do you see on the network? Do you see evidence of different types of web browsers, FTP clients and so on? Do you see any evidence of any other kind of client on the network? Attack tools. Well, you've seen several attack tools inside the lab. What can you see inside the lab, uh, or in this capture, that might look like any of those lab tools? Can you see anything different? And finally, your conclusions. Okay. There's a note here about the size of the frames. And there's some pointers here to give you some information. And down the bottom here, I've got my Wireshark capture uh, uh, UTPU videos. Okay, they should still be available for you, so you can actually work out a little bit more about how to do things inside Wireshark. Okay, so that's the document, and here, oh, hold on. here we have the template file. Please add to the template file and remove my text. Okay, uh, remove, uh, add in your own explanation, your own network diagram, and this table here. Uh, for example, I've just said there's some file transfer. This is the detail, and then some notes about what the evidence is. So add to the table as you see fit and do not uh, of course delete my uh, remarks here because they're not real hosts on the network services seen client software attack tools that might have been seen your conclusions <coughs> many of this is pretty obvious this last bit is something very important how can you prevent what you have seen being seen on the network what security measures could you deploy Okay, last thing. Let's go to Wireshark. I've already got my pre captures preloaded, but I'll go through the long way. I'm going to open a file in Wireshark. Um, I'm going to have to go and find it now. Okay. Okay, so I'm opening capture file one of three. It's a large file, 30,000, uh, sorry, 50,000 frames, 30 megabytes in size. Uh, I've got a reasonably fast computer here. If you have the same, that's great. If you don't, well, you're going to have to use something in the lab. <coughs> okay, now you've got so much data here, the question would be where do you start? <coughs> you can start in many structured ways. You can click on the protocol field and then look at ARP frames first, browser frames, Cisco Discovery Protocol, CDP, 
DHCP DNS. Your choice. Okay. You will find a lot of information there. RTMP. <coughs> you can figure out what that is. STP. Okay. TCP fragments. And you keep going down. As you can see, there was a great deal of TCP fragments. UDP. There's also some UDP traffic on here as well on unique frames. So there's a lot of things for you to actually find inside here. Let's start. Statistics, protocol, hierarchy. We're now looking at what type of traffic is inside here. This is a great starting point because it shows you where you can hit first and what you can analyze. Okay, so just moving down here, picking something up at random. HTTP, okay, 0.08%. So you do know that there is some web traffic inside here, and you've got a value of 0.08%. So you know it's not a lot. NetBio session service, 4%. <coughs> Server message block. It's a Windows disk share. So you know that there's 4% Windows disk share. Okay. Real-time messaging protocol, whatever that happens to be, 1.47 protocol. UDP frames, 4%. Again. You need to put piece that together and figure out what it is and what's actually happening inside here. Let's go for an endpoints analysis. An endpoints analysis is going to find out what unique IP and MAC addresses are actually visible on the network. Okay, this is what it's determined. Remember, this is only frame. This is only the first file. There are two more files for you to actually look at. We can filter on the addresses. We can see some network card addresses being identified we can see some traffic type being identified we can see various manufacturers being identified okay so you have to work out what they are what they're doing and how they work we can look at IP addresses and see what they are on the network so we've got every unique IP address identified on the network if we look at TCP we can now of course look at port numbers on the network okay So seeing all sorts of different ports there identified. And UDP, we could do the same. So again, you're narrowing down the search field. You can look at conversations. You can look at IO graphs. If we look at the IO graph for this transfer, we've got 260 seconds worth of transfer in this capture, and you see that there's a constant amount of data going across the network. And there's a peak at about 40 seconds. So something happened at 40 seconds that was quite interesting. Let's find 40 seconds. Something about here. Okay. Net by our session service. Follow TCP stream. And we're finding it's something to do with a disk share. Okay. And we've got some information here about disk shares. SMB, server message block. You'll have to unpick that and figure out what on earth that means. Again, you've got some filters here that explain what's going on. So. You're clear about what the assignment is, and you've got a structured way of actually answering the question. If you want to add any further detail into that, that's perfectly allowed. I don't mind you adding extra content into, that, into those um, uh, Word templates. What I would advocate, though, in these Word templates, is you fill in only your student number here in the footer. You don't put your file name, your, your username, sorry, your personal name anywhere on the document, you only put your user, your user number, that means it's anonymous marking, and you keep the sections roughly the same as we've seen here. If you've got something additional that's related to protocols, put a section 3.1 inside here and identify what exactly you want to talk about. Okay? I haven't put a page limit on this, but I'm thinking that 10 pages, 12 pages is, is about the right kind of size. I'm after quality and detail of information, I'm not after quantity. Okay, so if we go back to Blackboard, all these documents will be available to you in very, very shortly. You can download. I would strongly advocate that you download these captures um, on the university premises because it might time out if you're on a slightly dodgy internet connection. Okay. <coughs>